So this video is going to be about what can we do to actually lift ourselves up. So here are a few things that you can do that I've been doing that I think is really simple and easy to do so you can feel better and get closer to being the person that you want to be almost like bringing back your real self, whatever that means and is to you. First thing is to get the basics right. Sleeping at a decent time and waking up at a decent time is incredibly important. And whatever decent means to you, that that's what it is. Making sure you brush your teeth morning and night, making sure you drink plenty of water throughout the day and making sure that you at least get one healthy meal in. These are really important things that we need to make sure that we get done. They are just the basics. They are going to lay the foundation for us to really launch ourselves and get closer to what it is that we want to be. Essentially, if we can do the little things right, then we can do the big things right. Once the basics are down pat and you can do that consistently for however many days, like I mean really make sure that you can get consistent with all those basic things. And if you already got that, great. But if you haven't, then I would say just focus on that for now. For however long it takes you, it doesn't matter. That's kind of where you're at and where you need to be. And that's absolutely fine. But if you have got consistency, that's really good. And now it's time to stretch yourself just a little bit further. And so the second thing to do is to reflect and redirect. Reflect on what it would be like being your ideal self and then redirecting your current present state so that you can get closer to that reflection. So what I've done is, is I've taken a notebook and I've written down all the things that I feel like my ideal self would like to do in a day. How many hours of sleep I get at night, when I go to bed and when I wake up, how long and when I exercise for, and how productive I'd like to be amongst a whole bunch of other things. I found this exercise to be extremely helpful because it gives me an idea of what it is that I'm actually working towards. I suggest you do the same or something similar for no wind blows in favor of a ship without direction. If we can reflect on what it is that we want, then we can make sure that we can redirect ourselves so that we are on track to achieving it. And number three, implement step by step. And the last step I would say to kind of round off this whole process is to obviously put step two into action. And that's by choosing just a single thing from your reflection on whatever it is that you've written down on that list, on the type of person you want to be and all the things that you want to be doing, just choose one of them. Perhaps it's the easiest, perhaps it's the most important, perhaps it's the most urgent. Whatever it is, please only pick one. It's tempting to start them all, but what we're going for is we're going for long-term consistency. We want to make sure that we can actually sustain these changes that we want to make in our life. And so we are going to take it step by step. And once we feel like we got a good grip on one of those steps, then we can move on to the next one. The mindset that I want you to have in this whole process is one of patience and one of intention. It might even be difficult at first, but with proper execution and care, we can make sure that we sustain these changes and be satisfied with them. Oh, and if you keep falling back, like, don't worry, I do it all the time. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off and give it another go. That's just what we do. If you like this video, then there's a good chance that you'd like this one over here. If you haven't already, like the video itself, subscribe to the channel right here, and I'll see you in the next one. All the love, all the power. Good luck.